Good evening and welcome to Men Helping Men to Be Men, lecture number three, false series of the New Testament Greek, sound exegetical homiletical tools for Bible study. And we're just happy to once again be able to continue uh, this study, this series there. We are actually uh, have completed a, a 16 week over the summer and now we're into the fall and we're just now getting into our third lecture and we're going to be getting to the homework tonight but there are some announcements that I want to make and again this is for uh, you that are regular students some of you that might be uh, coming by you might be listening to this recording or some of the students that are not going to be available tonight but will be available next week we want you to know that we're going to not have class on our regular Zoom channel. The meeting ID that you see here now, you're on tonight. Okay. So next week, you will not be coming on with the regular Zoom channel. So just first of all, note that. No class next week. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to be coming through uh, the All Souls Matter Lecture Series by the McCalmont Church of Christ in North Little Rock, Arkansas. This is a congregation that I used to be a member of, Brother Percy, 40 years ago. 40 years ago, I used to be a member of this congregation and the minister there, Dr. Lord D. Harris, called me this afternoon. Um, and uh, I was actually a student at the SRS school before I got into the schools that I'm in right now. And that was back in, I believe, 2014. With my, yeah, that's right, 2014. And he is the uh, president of that school. But uh, he gave me an invitation to speak next Tuesday next Tuesday the 17th at 6 30 p.m. Central Standard Time so if you are East Coast like we are to be there on time next week you would have to be on there at 5 30 all right now the topic is oh, this is the topic I'm gonna be dealing with and this is an important topic for you to listen and know about let the women keep silent in the churches uh, 1 Corinthians 14 34 now I'm not going to give a homework assignment but here's something I want you to consider I want you to treat this verse like a homework assignment I want you to study 1 Corinthians 14 34 use your tools use your mouse Use your Bible, use your King James, NIV, look up the terms. All the skills you've been developing the last 16 weeks, use those skills to exegete 1 Corinthians 14, verse 34. Look at every term in the verse. Read the context, see what the context is about, see if you can figure it out, all right? Not only that, when I come on and I start to talk about this thing, uh, it'll make matter sis to you. All right. Uh, you probably have preached on this before, but by hearing it next week, then you will be able to get clarity. You can even ask questions, what have you. But there will not be any classes on this platform. You're going to come with the ID information down here. Tuesday Zoom meeting. This ID 501. 9457331 and then the passcode is the exact same thing all right so 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 make certain that don't show up at the regular zoom don't come here don't come on here and uh expect to be doing me and helping man to be man a man helping man to be man it's going to be over at all souls matter okay just be aware we will not pick back up here until the following week, the 24th. And then 
we will perhaps talk about this first Corinthians 14 we can have some more discussion about that I will have some material for you and again we'll, we'll see how far we get with the homework tonight if we get the homework tonight completed then we will actually uh, finish that okay and I'll have another assignment for you but it'll be something in the exegetical area but uh, just plan on exegeting this exegete this verse right here and then I would like to hear your exegesis say I would like to hear did you did you agree with what I did with that verse do I do I have the same conclusion that brother Gardner with this first Corinthians 14 okay I'll be interested to see what you discovered in your your tools uh, do you agree with my exegesis okay uh, this is a this is a challenging verse and it's a challenging uh, it's definitely a controversial topic you start talking mm -hmm, about is. you start talking about telling women to be silent you can get killed <laughs> killed over that kind of, yeah i know that right. telling women to, telling not, women not, to be not in silent. this 21st century not this 21st century. <laughs> you, 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 you don't hear many sermons on women keeping no. silent no no no, no 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 women keeping silent in the church you don't hear sermons hey, like that no more talking brother gardner you try to tell the <laughs> system what today to keep silent you got oh, a lot okay. of uh, 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 I'm, I'm i was i was surprised i said these brothers gave me one of the most difficult subjects they could okay so uh yeah. this is a this is a challenging topic but the bible is right <clears throat> when you when you let the bible speak you don't have to be ashamed to tell folk what the bible say Mm. and I appreciate the invitation but at the same time I want you to know that you want to be a part of this discussion and we will learn something together next week that that I can assure you so uh, Dana, what, so what is the link uh, what, what link can we use to get on you know to view this, it this, this is not a link situation this is why I'm giving you the ID uh-huh you open up Zoom and you put the ID number in. You don't need a link for this. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. okay. This is not a link like I normally give you. You click on a link. Because see, some of you all just been clicking links. If okay. you open up Zoom, it will say join a meeting. Yes. Yeah. Join a meeting. So put the meeting ID in and then put mm -hmm. the password in and then hit connect. Okay. It works just like that. I got you. It, right. it worked the same way with this. You don't need a meeting for a link for this. Just type in the ID and the password. Mm. It'll work the same mm. way for this one. I, mm. That's what I do every week, Brother Gardner. Well, yeah. So you're not reinventing the wheel here. The only thing different is the number. Mm -hmm. And uh, Macalma Church of Christ here in North Little Rock, this is the church that's hosting this special series that goes on every Tuesday. This is not something that they do. Uh, this happens all the time. It's just that they're doing this while I'm doing men helping men to be men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, homework for tonight. Homework for tonight. Two important words. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the homework for tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, first thing is for you to find out as many scriptures in the New Testament that you can find. Now, mm -hmm. let me let me start right there. I'm going to ask each of you. Uh, Percy, are you on here? Yep. All right, I'm going to start with you. How many verses did you find for Episcopos? For Episcopos, uh, um five of them you found about five about five and i am using about all right four. Uh, all right okay i just want you to just tell me how many how many five all right uh brother door uh brother doorkeeper do you agree with that absolutely brother christian do you agree with that um do you agree we, what these oh, two oh, oh, yeah 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 yes yes we're the episcop uh yeah episcopos mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so you found five five mm -hmm. verses mm -hmm. yes all right next thing let me let me let me let me get out my little uh so you all said five times in the new testament is that right mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, brother uh, Kevin, brother Doekeeper, give me mm -hmm. one of the scriptures that you discovered. <clears throat> one. Well, let's see. One of those five scriptures. Give me one. My paper keeps wanting to flip back through. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, my, my first one was uh, the, the one that we had before was 1 Peter 5, verse 2. Okay, so you're saying 1 Peter 5 and verse 2 is one of the scriptures? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're telling me? For Episcopus. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Episcopus. No, I'm sorry. I am so sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I keep getting myself ahead of myself. Well, listen to my questions here, sir. I'm asking yes. you about the homework tonight. Episcopus. You just said mm -hmm. five times in the New Testament. So right. my question for you is give me one <laughs> verse of those five times. Do you understand? Right. All right. Let me go to somebody else. Apparently you need some more time. Brother Percy, I'm back to you. Give me one of those verses. Okay. I have um, Acts 20 and 28. That's Acts. My 20 Acts what? Acts 20 and verse 28. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Christian, give me one of those verses. Ready. So I had uh, Philippians 1 verse 1. Philippians 1 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Okay, brother doorkeeper, do you have one of those verses to give me? Yeah. Titus 1 verse 7. Yeah, you go. Titus 1 verse 7. Yes, sir. All right, brother Percy, we're back to you. Give me another verse. First Timothy 3, 2. First Timothy 3, verse 2. Okay, brother uh, Christian, we're back to you. Give me another verse. First Peter chapter 2, verse 25. First Peter chapter 2, verse, verse 25. 25. Mm -hmm. Now, if this is correct, mm -hmm. We're going to first verify that this is correct. Okay. All right. I'm going to use a different tool tonight. I'm going to use a different tool tonight. The tool I'm going to use tonight that I'm going to introduce you to is called the Lexham English Bible. It is an English Greek reverse interlinear. Mm -hmm. uh, right. This is based on the Strongs. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the Strong system. Okay. Uh, so the authors here, uh, matter of fact, you might even have this Bible, the Lexham English Bible by the uh, W. Hall Harris III. Uh, Michael Holmes is one of the Greek New Testament editors, as well as Rick Brannan. These are names that are very well known in scholarship for the New Testament Greek. Okay. All right. Now, this is based on the Lexham English Bible um and it is part of the Logos Bible software package. But what I do uh, have here is the PDF edition. See, I'm using a regular, you know, Adobe Acrobat, even though this is the professional edition. Yeah, right. Okay. This is the professional edition. But what mm -hmm. I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool tonight. And if you all think that this is something that you can handle and you like, I will make this available to you so that you can use this tool in your study. So, mm. Acts, uh, uh, we go to Romans. We go to right. Romans. And then, so you back up. Well, actually, I could go to Acts, but, you know, it starts at Acts 1. So you got to search through all yep. of those to get to chapter 20. So I'm going to go to chapter, I'm going to go to Romans, and then I'm going to go backwards. So we're going to go to Romans. And then we're gonna go backwards till we get to about chapter 20. All right. Acts 24, 23. This would be like you flipping through your pages in your big linear uh, book, like the one that the doorkeeper has. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> See, he's, and this is, a, this is 1,300, 1,362 pages. Uh, yeah. So in other words, uh, it looks like this is right at 
page number 721. Okay, 721. So let's go down to verse 28. All right, now we're at Acts 20 and 28. Now the text says, Be on guard for yourselves, for all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers. Mm -hmm. Overseers. There's the word there. Episcopus. Episcopus. See, this is the Episcopus because, mm -hmm. see, this is a nominative, excuse me, it's a noun, accusative, plural, masculine. Mm hmm. Now, accusative plural masculine, the Strong's number right under it, 1985. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, 1985. So that word is there. Now, mm -hmm. let's go down here because see, you see here, here's your verb morphology. If you go up to the top of the page, then you have the noun morphology. Now, notice it said in, so that's the noun. Right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. No, notice it also said A. You look at the A. The A is for the accusative case. That's the direct right. object case. And then it's a plural. And then it's a masculine. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. so, so that is correct. Uh, but if you go to 1985, matter of fact, let's do that. If we go to our Strong's, see, now you can go to Strong's. All you all that like Strong's, Here's how you're strong. 1985. Just put it in. Boom. But watch this now. See, I put in the Hebrew one. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful that I put in the Hebrew number. We mm -hmm. want 1985 Greek. So I put a little G in the front. Here is 1985 uh, Greek. Episki pas. Episki pas. But of course, the Strong's give you no context, no context. So let's right. go now to something that works a little bit better. Let's go to our um, vines, say 1985. Say you can put this in in vines mm -hmm. and it comes right up. See that? Comes right up. And there are all five references right there. There, you see that? Thank you, thank you, see? See that? You got all the references right there. Just like, here's another word, overseer, okay? But if you notice, the Lexham word is overseers. Plural. It, if you, plural. If you go to uh, your, your bonds, it has the word bishop, but it also has the word overseer. All right, all right. so if you click on overseer, here's overseer here even though it has a different word it has the verb usage okay so let's go back to our noun usage there uh let's go over to mouse i'm going to show you something in mouse that's going to be a little, a little bit different notice this says 1985 watch what mm -hmm. happens when we go to mouse and we put in 1985 see look at that we, we get a whole different word for mouse. Why is that? That's the Barney? Hebrew, right? Well, That's yes. But, right. But, but here's the thing. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something here. Let's go. Let's type in that word overseer. Let's try that. Okay. Let's try that again. Overseer. So here's our Pikisby cost. There it is. Look at the number. 2176. Mm -hmm. Right. That's in the Strong's though. No. No. That's in yeah, the right after mouse. It, right, after the, right after the number, Strong's in parentheses. Yeah, but oh. I'm talking about the number before mouse. that. Mouse uses 2176. Yes. Mm. It's a differing number system. Yes. The, but it also gives you the Strong's reference, 1985. Yes. Right. Okay. Now, if you, now if you click on 2176, it <clears> takes <throat> you to... A different numbering system, which is the, which is called the digital, uh, the, uh, excuse me, dictionary of the biblical languages for the New Testament, and mm. it also takes you to Strong's 1985. Fine. Just okay. be aware, okay. some lexicons don't always use the same numbering system. Mm -hmm. All right. All mm -hmm. right. But mm -hmm. this, but this, but this tool that I'm going to give you, 
See, I'm going to give you this too. Oh. I'm going to give you this too. You've been using the, you've been doing all this good work for the last six months. Uh, actually, it's not quite that long, but but it's close enough. Actually, I'm going to give you this tool right here. So when you get ready to go do your homework, all you got to do is open it up. You look up the book. You get to the page. You go to the word overseers. There is the pronunciation episcopus. Now keep in mind this word right here, episcopus, is what's in the Greek text right that's not what you're going to see in the lexicon that's why you have to get that 1985 when you put in 1985 and, and this is where your strongs people will be real happy because strongs has your number so you just type in that number right there so you type in 1985 in your strongs and it'll tell you what the number is okay yeah. mm -hmm. All right, it'll tell you the word, the pisky pause, right there. But then right. you take that, but if you're going to go to mouse, if you go to mouse, watch this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You go to mouse, 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 you put in 1985, mouse going to give you a whole different thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you have to do the mouse, try this in mouse. Okay, look up the word overseer. Look up go. the same word that you right. saw in the English, mm -hmm. overseer. Mm -hmm. Put that in mouse, and then you go backwards. Okay, right. you find the word episky pass. You look over right. there until you see the Strong's number nineteen eighty five. You see right. it's got five times. Then you can look up all the wonderful scriptures right there. There they go. There mm -hmm. they go. There they go. Right. Right there. Yes. Sir. There they go. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. See, this was an easy assignment. You, you yes. met, if you had <laughs> if you had trouble with this one, you need prayer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pray it was me. easy. It was easy. That, that, that's you know, right. that why you that, get that's, it straightforward. <laughs> matter of fact, I'm I'm ashamed to give y'all something this easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, pray for me anyways, bro. Uh, <laughs> oh, I I'm ashamed. Yeah, yeah. I'm ashamed to give y'all something that's easy. But I want you to see they're not all, all right gonna drive you crazy okay mm -hmm. now here's the second part of the question but before we do that let's use our good tool again let's go to the next scripture all right we did acts 20 and 28 mm -hmm. now let's do philippians chapter 1 and verse 1 let's use our little tool here that i'm going to give you all mm -hmm. so okay. now you click on first of all in order to use this you have to download Adobe Acrobat Reader free. You have to download from the software package. Uh, I think everybody know what the world I'm talking about when I say Adobe Reader. Yeah. I mean, it, this is this is old school. You you're gonna need mm -hmm. this right here mm -hmm. if you're gonna do if you're gonna open this book up, right? Mm -hmm. So you, if you got a Mac and what, whatever you got, download it. It's free. Now I have the professional edition, which is the one that allow you to edit. See, I can do some things you can't do. Right. Okay. You don't have to have that to open the file, but just notice you need at least the free edition to get in here and do and look at the thing. All okay. right. So let's go to Philippians. See, here's the book right here. Philippians. Philippians 1, that's easy. It goes right there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paul and Timothy, slaves of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi together with the Episcopos, Episcopos, excuse, excuse me, Episcopos, Episcopos. See, you have the Greek manuscript but then watch this you got the pronunciation right there mm. right episki poise what what is it it's a noun dative plural masculine how do i know that well i know the greek but let me show it to you how do you know it go right down here now mm -hmm. it's a dative plural mm -hmm. masculine mm -hmm. okay brother gardner there's our word Verse one. Let's go back up here. I'll keep it again. Nineteen eighty-five. You already know that. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you already know that. I don't have mm -hmm. to take you over there. You already right. know how I do that, right? Mm 
Mm. Right. So, so there's another one you found. You just verified that. Yeah. We're checking our yeah. work. We're Except checking her. our work. That's what we're doing, right? Okay, so let's go to the next one. Titus chapter 1, verse number 7. So we go back to our good tool here. Open up the bookmarks on the side. Go down to the book of Titus. Titus chapter 1, right there. Scroll down to verse number 7. Titus 1, verse 7. Titus 1. Okay, here it is right there. For it is necessary... For the overseer, Episcopoon, look at here, Episcopoon, Episcopon, excuse me, Episcopon, Tom Episcopon, look at that. Mm. It's a noun, accusative, singular, masculine, 1985. Singular, mm. singular this time. Yeah. And watch this, it has the definite article. It has the definite article, look at that, Tom right there next to it. Look to the left. Tone. Mm, mm. Definite article. So it's for the overseer. Mm. Very specific. Mm -hmm. The overseer. Tone, Episky mm. All right. 1985. Right there. You see that? If you wanted to look up that definite article, 3588, let's look that up just to do some little testing here. Let's do some testing here. Hmm. 3588. That's not it. Did I put in the right number? <laughs> Let me put Shaving Did I put it? 3588. That is the correct one. Let me put it in again. 3588. 30, 30, That's not right. Oh, it's, it's, it's putting up 4587. It's 3588 is not correct. That is not the correct one. Matter of fact, let me try it this way. Um, that is not the correct. Let me go to the Strong's here. 3588. Uh-huh. See, see what I mean? Here it is. Ha. Huh. Definite article definite article but notice in mouse is 38 36 mm -hmm. 38 36 there's the there's the hebrew uh let's put in here The, it's two is GGK thirty eight thirty six ha definite article. So keep in mind when you put the numbers in, you got to make certain that you are differentiating between the Hebrew as well. Cause see the numbers can sometimes be the same number, but it will take you to the Hebrew side, and if you're not careful, you end up looking at the wrong word. This is the right one, 3836. But, but see, look at the difference. Go down here to the bottom. Then it has 3588 right down there. So you click on that. Mm -hmm. Then that takes you to the Strong's number, which is also the definite article. Ha. See there? Look at that. Not ho. That pronunciation is ha. And if you go back to our tool here, the... Pong Episki Pong, the overseer, 1985. All right, so we just verified that scripture. Now let's go to 1 Timothy 3, verse 2. This one here we've been in so long. Uh, you ought to know that. You ought, you, you, ought, you ought to know that, but you ought to be there just, just know that. But I'm going to go show it to you because I'm using this tool here. I want you to see the tool. 1 mm -hmm. Timothy chapter 1. So now you got to scroll down. Keep chapter scrolling three. down. Okay, we're still in chapter one. And now we're in chapter two. Scroll down to chapter two. Okay, chapter three, qualifications. Verse mm -hmm. number two. Therefore, the tongue episcopal. poem. Look at here. Definite article. Look at that. Singular. Right. The definite article. Look at that. 
1985. Look at that. 3588. Look at that. Easy stuff, right? All right. First Peter 2, verse number 25. All mm -hmm. right. Now, this is one we hadn't looked at too much, but look at here. Let's go back to our two. First Peter chapter 2. We scroll down chapter 1. We're scrolling down. And then we're going to get chapter 2. Scroll down. Verse number 25. Mm -hmm. Look over here. All right. Verse 25. For ye, you were going astray like sheep. Mm -hmm. Prophetah. But you have turned back now to the shepherd. Look at that. And guardian. Episcopon. Look at that word. It's the word guardian. Not overseer. It, it means the same thing though. Protector of the flock. But, 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 but watch this. You got your 1985, but look at the different word there. It got a different word, guardian, mm -hmm. not overseer. Wait a minute, brother Gardner, what's going on here? Well, that brings us to part two. So y'all got A plus on part one. But the other part of the question is this. Now I want you all to tell me which verses only apply to the office of eldership right brother percy okay. let's go to let actually let's start let's start this way we're gonna start with brother christian this time well christian tell right. me the verses wait a minute hmm? let, let me let me let me let me let me write down right here christian tell me the verses that only apply <laughs> only apply let me let me mm -hmm. go back to Episky Pass. Tell me the words that only apply. Okay. To the office. Which look here. Here are the verses. Tell me yeah. the ones that only apply. Okay. So uh when I look at it, the verses that I think um <laughs> only apply to uh, eldership or the leaders overseers. Yeah. yeah. Uh one, um Acts chapter twenty. All right. Verse 28. All right. Very good. Go ahead. And Is again, um, I also saw that Philippians chapter 1, verse 1 also applies to that. Go ahead. Um, again, I noticed that First Timothy chapter 3, verse 2 also applies to that. Okay. Are you done? Um, and also, I noticed that um, Titus 1, verse 7 applies to that. Okay. What else? Now, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 25, mm -hmm. I noticed that it, it, it doesn't apply to the leadership uh, or the, the, the church leaders. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now. Brother, I think that one is referring to Christ. You know, it's, it's using that the same um, expression for uh, Christ being a guardian, you know, of our soul. I, I mean, that was the understanding that I was getting. So I'm like, no, it looks like this one doesn't apply to. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Does uh -huh. anybody disagree with what he said? Does no. anybody disagree with what Christian said? That's my question. Actually, I, I, know. I did not even put it in. What do you mean you didn't put it in? Um, First Peter chapter two and verse twenty-five. Oh, okay. So, so, but this, so this is my question. Okay, Do you agree to... with what Christian said? Yeah, That's my question. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree, brother Christian. Okay. I totally agree with him, right? Uh, because of First Peter chapter two and verse twenty-five, I would say, wait, well, I missed out on something. But to mm -hmm. me, I, I looked at well, it. What does the doorkeeper say? Hmm. Yeah, he nailed it. Oh, thank you. Okay, now watch this. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go back to. Uh, let's see which one is. Let, let me use Miles since Miles seems to be. Sometimes he's our friend. 
Sometimes Most mouse gets times he is, but there's times when you can't find nothing with him. <laughs> That's right. See, look, watch this. Watch. Let's see. He yeah. might be our friend today. Mm-hmm. Let's mm-hmm. just read. Episki pass. Episki pass. Okay, five times. It means overseer, bishop. Y'all got that? Okay. Let's skip down here. In the New Testament, it is used four times for those who have been appointed as overseers. Look at that. That's right. Look at that. I told That's you right. this is too easy. Didn't I That's tell you right. this is too easy? <laughs> there's, the, there's the meaning of the office, right? <laughs> didn't, I tell, didn't I tell y'all this is too easy? You're making it very oh, easy yeah. for us. That is what uh, we want. I, all right, I'm 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 gonna get you later though. Watch this, but <laughs> see, see, brother Christian, you gotta watch brother Gardner. Must, yeah, I'm watching him. I'm now. watching him. You wait, wait. <laughs> but I don't keep on. You wait. <laughs> so, 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 but watch this. First Peter two verse twenty five. Peter refers uh-huh. to Jesus as the shepherd, shepherd right? Of our and souls. overseers of your oh. soul. That's mm-hmm. different. Yes. It's the yeah. same like, word. Yes. Yeah. But the con- but what, like, what? Yeah, that next line down, Brother Gardner. Read it. The next line down should be said, in other words, Jesus is the chief overseer. That's, That's right. Yeah. That's Thank right. you. But if you notice, if you notice though, let me let me make sure say this is why you got to look at the words. Notice mm-hmm. overseer here. Small letter, small caps. Right. <clears throat> when it got to this, it says capital S, capital, capital O. o. Mm. The overseer, the shepherd. See, yeah. they, so they put means- emphasis on that O. Yes. Yes, so that makes it different from the, uh, that, that, the so, so in other words, that goes right here with that chief shepherd idea. Yeah. That chief mm. overseer of our souls. Yeah. That's why it's the overseer. Mm. When we're talking about the office in the church, small letter O. Okay. Yep. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. Overseers. Right? Mm-hmm. When yes. it comes to Jesus, the overseer. Mm-hmm. Singular. One. You don't have a one archie archi, uh episcopos. Right. Only one. And that's Jesus. Um that, but that but I thought that was a very interesting one. And you all did outstanding as I expected. Mm. See, there's no surprise. Thank you. All right, let's go to the next one. Y'all did so well with it. By the way, let me go back. Are there any questions on the on this word here? Any questions on that? I'm just surprised that it was used so uh, infrequently. Well, well, that's that's a good point. But if you notice, look at how many times presbyteros was used. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you remember how many times that was used? Lord, how mercy. Sixty-six times. Uh, that's correct. Actually, I'm not certain. I think I think it might have been. I think it might have been. Well, you said to it might have been about 68 or 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. ones Pit. we were referencing were about 66 of them. Uh, yes, absolutely. And, and I you even kept I, drilling that. You kept drilling that for almost a half hour, so that number stuck ma- in ma- my matter, head. <laughs> matter of fact, if we go to see, if we go to go to our word elder here, and go down to Miles. See, remember, Miles mm-hmm. tells you how many. Yep. See. Miles yeah, tells you 66. That's why I'm saying when you use your tools right there, use your tools right there, mm-hmm. 66. Right. Okay. Right there. But see, now watch this. Let's go to our, our new tool that we got. First Timothy five, verse one. Let's just see what our new tool will do. We in, we in first Timothy. Let's go to chapter right. five, verse one. First Timothy five verse one. Let's see. Let's see what our new tool would do. Chapter four. Mm-hmm. See, brother Doorkeeper, you don't have to keep opening up that big old book you got no more. First, <laughs> fir, first look here. First Timothy five verse one. Therefore, your fellow elder, soon press butyros. See, that's that one word there. Mm-hmm. 
that soon press and by the way definite article Ooh, ha. definite article right there see that yeah. 3588 and witness of the suffering of Christ and also a share of the glory that is going to be revealed exhort the press Buddha Rus look at here mm-hmm. 4245 and also there. notice there brother Gardner it's capped in the beginning thank you that's a good observation that's a very good observation. Exhort the it's elders. Using, it's using the instilled, it's using the capital PI, which is a capital P in the beginning. There you go. Very good, brother. Right there. 4245. Now, if we go back to Mouse, there's our Strong's number, 4245. Mm-hmm. 66 times. Okay. Um, but that was, that, that, that was for demonstration only. Let's go back to uh, the right. real... Let's go back to the real deal now. Okay, Brother Doe Keeper, we're going to we start it with you now. Okay. This word, poi, my no. My no. Mm-hmm. Poi, my no. How many times is poi, my no in the New Testament, Brother Doe Keeper? According to my research, 11. Yes. 11 times. Okay. Now, Brother Doe Keeper. Give me two verses of the 11 that you identify that's in the Bible. Two verses. All right. The first one I found was actually in one of the Gospels, Luke 17, verse 7. Luke 17, verse 7. Mm -hmm. All right. Give me another one. And then go over to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. All right, First Corinthians nine verse seven. Okay, uh, Christian, give me two of them. So I found one in uh, the uh, the gospel that is Matthew two verse six. Matthew two verse six. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on a and, second. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. And another one too in uh, the gospel John twenty one sixteen. All right. Okay. Very good. Um, bro- brother Percy. What you got? Give me two of them. Acts 2028. Acts what? Acts 2028. Right. Correct. And we've already looked at that, but we'll go back to that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. See, this is one that was a repeat, but we'll go back to it again. All right. Oh Next. God. What else and, we got? First Peter 5 2. Right. First Peter 5 2. Okay. We've looked at it a couple of times, but not tonight, right? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me make sure I got. So we got one. So we got six now. Two. All right. Three. We got four. All right. Five. So we got six. All right. So we're halfway, basically. Okay, mm-hmm. brother Percy, give me two more. Since we with you, let's 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 continue. Give me two more. Well, I only out of the 11 got three of them, so I'll give you one. Okay, 20, give me one. 21, 16, John 21, 16, brother Christian mentioned that. John 21, what? Don't John, give me the same thing. It got to be mm-hmm. something different. Oh, well, that's I, don't want, I, I don't want the same thing. It, in, other word, in other words, you don't have nothing else. So all you yes. have is, all you know is the first six. Is that what you're telling me? Actually, just three of them I wrote down because according to as for I stuck within that realm. Hmm. Now, my question is now, how many are in the New Testament? I'm not dealing with leadership aspect yet. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Remember, this is a two part question. Oh, right. The no, first, no. the first question is global. Mm-hmm. The right. second question is specific. Okay, all right. Well, so um, give first, me the global answer. All right. I have First Corinthians chapter nine and verse seven. That's already been said. I need something that has not been said. We don't need a repeat. Okay. Well, um, that's why I'm putting numbers on them. I need the ones that have not been said. We already got six. I need the other five that has not been said, right? All right. Um, You have um, 
Revelation 7, 17. Revelation right. 7 and 17. And Matthew 2, 6, was that mentioned? Yes. yes. Okay, well, Revelation 2, 27. That's right. Revel <laughs> Revelation 2, 27, is that right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number nine. All right. Uh, uh, Christian, give me uh give me uh give me two of them okay so we um left with uh jude 1 verse 12 jude 1 verse 12 mm -hmm. and number 10 what is that and then the uh, revelations 12 verse 5 revelation 12 verse 5 mm -hmm. all right don't keep it give me the last one and uh revelation 19 verse 15 that's correct okay now, we've got a comprehensive list. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do this time, because you all obviously can see how to use this tool. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to bring out the heavy equipment because we, we don't want to take forever searching for everything. Mm -hmm. Right? We want to get down to the nitty gritty right. and we got this many scriptures. Mm -hmm. So let's go to Luke 17, verse 7. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Who among you would say to your slave who have just come in from plowing or tending sheep? Mm -hmm. Poor Mino. Tending sheep. That's the verb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poor Mino. Mm -hmm. Tending sheep in the field. Come here at once and take your place at the table. Obviously, this has nothing to do with overseeing the church. That's right. Right. This is That's talking right. about shepherding. Shepherd. Period. Mm -hmm. This is talking about little sheep. Literal sheep, right? This is talking about literal sheep right here. This has nothing to do with overseeing the church, but it's the same word. verb, poimino. Very word. good. Right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yep. First uh, Corinthians nine, verse number seven. Let's check that. Let's see. Let's check that one. Okay. When you got the software, you can zoom right to it. Who at any time pays the expenses for doing military service? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat any of its fruits? Or who tends... Who tends who? Poor Mino. Mm -hmm. Poor Mino. Who tends a flock and does not get any of its milk? Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask the question right here to y'all. Does this have anything to do with overseeing in the church? No. Negative. No. Okay. Well, tell me, what does it have to do with then? Let me ask another question. It has to do with shepherds out in the physical field tending physical sheep. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Look like to me. You notice I said physical, not spiritual. Yes. Yeah, it, it sounds it sound <laughs> like y'all it sound like y'all been y'all been doing y'all homework this week. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter two verse six. Mm. Let's see what the text says. You can probably guess, but let's see anyway. Yeah. And you, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, mm -hmm. are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is the shepherd. Hmm. Boy, my no. Who is to shepherd a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Poor my no. To shepherd. My people, mm -hmm. Israel. Watch this. What is this dealing with? Is this talking about the church? No. No. What is this talking not. about? Christ. Talking about Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think we could even go as far as saying, even with this verse, we see the idea of that chief shepherd. Mm hmm. Right, that's what I was looking at. This right here even lines up with that other one, the overseer right. concept. 
to right. shepherd my people, Israel. Right? Right. We talked about this this uh, New Testament Israel and all that last night. Okay, but we're not, we're not going to get into that now. All right. We're, we're coming right along. Let's go to John 21, 16. John 21, 16. John 21, 16. What, what, what is he dealing with? Then, the word here, parlan, is the Greek word for then. A second, then the second time, he said unto him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Poi mine own, my sheep. Poi mine own, my sheep. Tend my sheep, feed my sheep. Look at that. Let me ask a question. Is this talking about overseers of the church? Yes. Actually, that one is. Yes. I don't think so. All right. Okay. Wait a minute. We got it. We got it. We got now. We, now we got different answers here. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we got different answers here. Yes. Now, now watch this. Watch this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, who says this talking about the church? Who said that? I, d I did. I did. Who, who say it's not talking about the church? I, I said, yes, I said it. Okay, tell me why it's not talking about the church. I'm going to start with you first. Let's see what you, let's, I'm going to see what the word you see. Come on. So to my understanding, you know, um, it, it was a conversation, you know, going on between uh, Christ and Peter himself, right? right so right, it right. was like, um, tend my sheep. That is the followers that we, uh, you, you have, you know, attend to them. And it's not you know, relating to the um, eldership, bishop, um, um, responsibility that he was, you know, uh, placing on him. Okay. Um, it is like like the way, you know, the idea that we've had from the, the, uh, the gospel, yes, tend to the flock. That means tend to the followers. But now it is, it's not being referred to. It's not being referred to um, the eldership, leadership, church leadership uh, role mm. that mm. Christ is giving to him. I mean, that is my understanding about what he said okay. to him that tend to. Oh, okay. The, the, okay. The, the, I see what you're saying. I mm -hmm. see what you're saying. Uh, Percy, you said yes, right? Yeah. Okay. Give me your explanation. First thing, first and foremost, as uh, scripture said, Peter himself in um, First Peter chapter five and verse two sorry verse one right where he states his um position in the church right although he's an apostle but he also states himself as an elder right and we see that christ is given a command to him in feeding the sheep okay That's speaking about the church mm. okay so you're saying because the first feet of five, you say you think this is also referring to the same thing, right? Yep. And All right. Uh, All right. I heard, I hear what you're saying, but uh, uh, did, are you finished, or did you want to add some more? I was just looking, for instance, um, I forgot the passage where it um, also when Paul went back to the elders, you know. Uh, in Jerusalem, the matter that was within, um, I think it was first Corinthians. Acts, Acts 15. Yeah, the Acts, sorry, Acts 15. Yes. And I, I got you. I got you. Now, I'm going I'm to come back to your answer. I'm going to come back to your answer in a minute, but let me go mm -hmm. to the doorkeeper. Doorkeeper, why did you say yes? Because it looks like he's telling him to perform the duties of the shepherd and lead his people in the way he was going to lead them in the first place. I got you. I got you. Well, here is what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. I agree with Brother Christian. Mm. I'm going to tell you why I disagree with you two. First of all, the church was not in existence at this time. The church was not right. in existence until Acts 2. 
Mm-hmm. Right. So when you said Percy Acts 15, that made sense because the church was in existence. So that's why First Peter 5, 1, a fellow elder Peter also, because of the Acts 15, the church has started in Acts 2. But at this point, Christ hadn't even died yet. Yes. No resurrection. Mm. No, 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 no day of Pentecost. No extension of the church and Acts 2 added to the church daily. 3,000 souls would say blah, blah, blah. So, so, so what I'm saying here, this verse is actually Paul, uh, excuse me, Jesus is in, is telling Peter, you take care of my followers. You take care of my disciples. Watch this. Watch this. But watch this, Peter. Watch this. Uh, watch this, Percy. Mm-hmm. I'll go. Even, I'll go a step further. Jesus could have also been telling him when the church starts in Acts two, since Peter was the one that preached the sermon. You mm-hmm. take care of my sheep when the church started in Acts two. So scholars could say this scripture talks in the present about the disciples, right? but it's looking to the future to the church. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you get, are you, did you understand what I just said? I'm talking to everybody yeah. now. I was That's looking at the direct, I was I think, looking I think, at the direct command from Christ to mm-hmm. Peter to do his will. That yes. is what, um, what you just said there, brother Gardner. That is why I took that passage. It's like a present to future. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 But and the reason why again I took it is because that was after Christ resurrected, he gave that command. Right. But 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 watch this. Watch this right here. They say it wasn't um there. But watch but watch this right here. The verb ten poor mino is a present active present active imperative Mm -hmm. it's a present tense verb it means something you do now it's not a future Mm -hmm. verb Mm -hmm. it's a present verb okay well that's my uh, at the present at the present there was no church for peter to take care of yet Christ had not gone back up to heaven yet. That didn't take place till Acts chapter 1. The day of Pentecost didn't take place until Acts chapter 2. When the church started. Yes. When elders were put in place. Acts 10, Acts 14. Now there's some sheep for us to take care of. Um, Are, Are you getting this? Yeah, I, I understand you clearly. Okay. Now, another argument I want to go, raise go, go for, ahead. Cl- for clarity. Go ahead. In, um, in Acts chapter 2 and verse 47. Praising right? God. Yeah. And he and God add them to. Very good. Right. Uh, the NIV will say the number. So would you would you classify the number as what um the church or well how would you look at the number in that thing? but that's king, a very good astute observation by the way yeah king james version said the church that's that see that's why that's why you don't need that king james it's giving you bad theology so i keep telling you get rid of that king james you won't listen to me All right, so okay that's but, but 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 let me let me let me answer your good question i keep telling you about that king james verse you're gonna listen Watch mm-hmm. this. Praise God. This is this is the NRSV. Mm-hmm. Praising God and having goodwill of all the people. Notice this word right here. The people. Notice this word right here. Goodwill of the people. Mm-hmm. The laos. The laos. The people. And day by day, the Lord. Kyrios. First tit they meet, add it to ta a tu, ta a ta, the number. What number? 
those who were being saved. What what is this those? What the what those are you talking about? Those see that this is a what's called a personal pronoun accusative plural masculine. If you remember if you remember your um if you remember your English grammar, a pronoun has to point back to the antecedent. Now, this is where you got to listen with both of your ears. The pronoun has to point to the antecedent. Watch this. The adjective, the number, definite article, the number. This is an adjective, accusative, singular, neuter, accusative, singular. The number, the adjective has to point to an antecedent. Add it to their number. What number? The closest thing we have is the people. Accusative, singular, masculine. Mm. Who are the those being saved? The people. The people in this case represents the assembly. Ecclesia is also word for the people or the assembly. So when the King James says they added to the church, what it's really saying is they added to the people, the ones who were being saved. So the people here represents the church. Matter of fact, let me give you a different uh, Greek text to look at that will help you to see it much better. I'm going to bring up the actual one for the King James Version. I'm going to use the exact same Greek text that you actually uh, are using with your King James. So watch this. I'm going to use the Newberry, the Newberry translation. I want, I want you to see what the Newberry does. <laughs> Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord add those who are being saved daily. Ta Ecclesia. You know what the King James Version does? It adds to the text, the church. It adds this. Watch this. The Texas Receptus adds this. The NR the NRSV, the, the NRSV, which is the one that I read from. Let's go back to the NRSV here. No ecclesia. No ecclesia. No ecclesia. Brother Gardner, what's going on? I'm going to tell you in a second. There's no ecclesia. You find ecclesia in here. It's not there. What, what, Brother Gardner, let's go to another Greek text. Let's go to another Greek text. I'm going to actually go to the literal Greek text now, which is one of the most reliable ones. Praising the God and having favor toward the people, the Laos, the master, the Kyrios. Set the ones being delivered by day on the same. Watch this. This is a very rough reading, but there is no ecclesia in the text. Right. Brother Gardner, what's going on? Well, you asked an intelligent question, so let me give you an intelligent answer that you might not be able to handle yet. But you asked the question, so let me give you a, a good answer. Acts 2, verse 47. The Bezin text of these verses differ in numerous details. That of the other witnesses, sometimes a reason for the alteration is apparent, but in other cases, it's not clear what motivates the Western reviser. Verse 45. Verse 46, verse 45, verse 46. Watch the note for verse 47. All were regular in attendance at the temple in their homes. They were together. Where the word 
on is obvious corruption. Why the phrase in the ecclesia was introduced in verse 47. It was introduced. Moulton and Howard suggest that the in the church may have crept into the text from being originally a marginal gloss written by a scribe who recognized this was the meaning of upon the tone. Remember that uh, two are uh, two. Remember the ta a ta I talked about. Mm -hmm. What the what the what the scholars believe is that the in te ecclesia crept into the text from being originally a marginal gloss written by a scribe who recognized that this was the actual meaning of the epi ta a ta. So when you see this ta a ta right there, the scribe said, ain't nobody going to understand what, watch this. See this right here? See this right here? You got the, the, the ha laos. The scribe says, nobody's going to know what this ta a ta means. Let me go back to the NRSV. Let's go back to the NRSV. I want to show it to you. See that right there? Adds to their number. Add it to their number. Or add it epi. Upon the number. Ta a ta. Ta a ta. Remember I said the adjective points to the people. So the people is another way to look at the number. But the scribe says, wait a minute. The people is really the ecclesia. And since nobody's going to know what the world the number is, I'm just going to write down here. And the Lord added to the taste ecclesia and he put it in the text. This is why when you get the new bird, which is the King James version Greek, it says praising God and having favor with the whole people. And the Lord added those who were being saved daily. Ha ecclesia. But it was added after the fact. What does the original text say, Brother Gardner? I'll read it again. Praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord had added to their number those who were being saved. Well, which one is right, Brother Gardner? Both of them are right. Which one is accurate? The NRSV. Which one is the most reliable? The NRSV. But the King James Version says, add to the church. That's also right. Which one should we use? Both of them. Did I answer your question? Clear. Very clear on that. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yep. Get now you know why you studied Greek. Brother Doe Keeper. That this, brings up my question. This is why you study <clears throat> the Greek language. I just showed you how and why you study the Greek language. Right. For that and question right up. there. That question right there. Come come on come on with your uh come on with your question, brother. That brings my question to mind. If if one is uh originally correct and the other one was an add on, and right. you are particular about us being critical. Mm -hmm. accuracy in mm -hmm. the Greek language, mm -hmm. which should be used over the other. Mm -hmm. That's my question. Which one should we use over the other? This is what I'm going to answer to your question. I've been saying it for the last year or so. Matter of fact, I've been saying it for longer than that. If you remember, I said the only reason why I use the King James Version because that's what the church folk got in their hand. Okay. All right. That's what that's what the, that's what's in the that's what that's in the church because we like the King James version. All my scriptures are memorized in the King James version. Really? Every single last one of them are King James version. I am not going to relearn the Bible again. Okay? I didn't know nothing about no Greek 
40 years ago when I was learning these scriptures. So I know the scriptures. So I'm going to yeah. use the King James because most of us has got the King James. If you're asking me when it comes to my translation work, when it comes to my Greek exegesis, what's the most reliable text? I'm not going to never, ever tell you that's the King James Version. Right. Preaching and exegesis are different things. When it's time to preach, mm -hmm. turn to your King James Version, blah, 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 blah. Matter of fact, do you know how many gospel meetings I've preached and I've used that and the Lord add to the church? But do you know what? I got enough sense to know that when I, when it's time to do the Greek exegesis, ta a ta. I know that the King James Version, Texas Receptors at ha ecclesia. I know that a scribe, brother Percy, put that in there because right here, the two scholars said, in Te Ecclesia may have crept into the text from being originally a marginal gloss written by a scribe who recognized that this was the meaning of the epitata. And that's exactly what I explained to you when I was when I was answering your question right here. Do you see the blue? Ta ta. Mm -hmm. Ta ta. There it is. So you said, what is that? Uh, uh, what is the add to the church all about? The ta ta points up to Tong Leon, but it's still confusing. What is this Tong Leon that are being saved? The scribe says. That don't make sense. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little note over here. Ha Ecclesia. And Ha Ecclesia, over time, crept into the text. But it was initially a scribal note to explain the text. So oh. it was never... It was never meant to be in the text. It was just a little note. You know how you have a Bible... Like my translations up here, I would take and pencil in yeah. on the side my little scrabble notes. Yeah, you, your margin notes. Yeah, I'll put I'll put in there in my little marginal notes. This is what the preacher said it's me. I write that down. Okay. I got writings all over my Bible. Okay. They did the exact same yeah. thing in Greek manuscripts. Okay. But what happened was when the scribes were duplicating these manuscripts by hand. Mm -hmm. They saw the scribal note on the side, but they didn't know that was a note. They took that note and they put it in the actual Greek text. So assuming, the text, assuming that to be part of the literal context they, of the verse, because over time the scribal notes look just like the text. You don't know what's what. Mm -hmm. So the scribe put that scribal note in the text. This is why Newberg. Uh, a Newberry actually has it in the text of receptors. It's right there. But the scholars tell you crystal clear, it was a marginal gloss written by a scribe to recognize the meaning. It was never intended to be part of the actual manuscript. This is the manuscript right here. Mm -hmm. That's the real manuscript right there. I just got right, uh, right there. It was never supposed to be in the manuscript, but guess what? It crept in. Mm. It doesn't distort the theology. Okay. It says the same thing. You what? say add to the number. You say add to the church. You say add the people who were the saved, the ecclesia, the people, however you want to say it. The mm. theology is the same, mm -hmm. but the accuracy of the text is the first one. Okay. The second one is corrupt. Mm -hmm. Just call it what it is. Corrupt. Mm -hmm. Now you know why I don't always recommend the good King James. Mm -hmm. yep. That's more answer than you need, but you ask the question. See, that's why you shouldn't ask some kind of questions. You're going to get a whole other, you're going to get a whole lecture. Actually, actually, I, I'm glad I asked that question because um, 
when I really inquire about um, the NIV and why the number he said, what I get is it wasn't in the original text. Yeah, which is right. But Watch this. The explanation that you give tonight on what happened, why it was not in the original text, and then the King James have this one, I understand where you're coming from fully. So mm. now Watch this. I watch this. I'm going to show you something. Mm. I'm curious if the new King James version, they caught and made the correction. Praising God, having favor mm -hmm. with all the people. And the Lord added to the church. That is again. But watch this. Let's click on that eight. In you amidst to the church. Look at that. Look at that, good God Almighty! And you, and you, that knew what they're saying is that the more reliable manuscripts omit to the church. They note the correction, but they still put to the church in there. Mm -hmm. Why do they say that? Why do they do that, Brother Gardner? <clears throat> because it helps people to make sense of the verb. Okay. English speaking people don't know nothing about Greek. They don't know nothing. They just read. So, the so they put it there mm. for understanding only. Mm. But they put the note to let you know it was not part of the original manuscript. Ooh. Hello. Mm. Now, let me give you all some good, wise advice. Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the number. Let's go to the New American Standard Bible. The New American Standard Bible. That's, that's a pretty literal Greek one. When I say literal, it's real literal. Mm -hmm. I'll be curious to see what it's going to say. Watch this. Praising God, having favor with all the people. And the Lord was adding to their number. Okay. Look at the word number. Mm. Altos. There it is. Mm. Let's click on the one. Literally. Mm. Together. That's right. But guess what? It didn't get into this add to the church. Mm. It don't get into that to the church language. Mm -hmm. Why not, Brother Gardner? Because it's one of the most literal Greek translations you can get. So, Brother Gardner. Um, what? Verse 47 is actually speaking of what is actually um, what was being taken, taken place or what was going on within, you know, the church in the growth, so to speak, in the sense of, you know, a summary of what was really taking place after Peter had spoken the first gospel sermon. So what is your question? No, what I'm saying, I'm just asking in the sense of, is verse 47 really speaking of what was really taking place in the church? Because, um, as I said, add, add to the number. So it was already been, people were already been saved. Yeah. In church, been baptized. So more daily, people were just being saved and add to the number that was already being saved. So what's that's your how, question? No, that, that's what I'm asking. If that verse 47 is just like a summary, so to speak. Of that's what, what I've it, been saying. That's what I've been saying all this time. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what, what exactly. I'm saying is this is a continuation yes. of then they that received the word were baptized and that they were added about 3,000 souls. Exactly. Mm -hmm. These are the folks they're talking about. They were breaking bread together. So they sold all their property and possessions. They had everything in common. And the mm -hmm. Lord added to the number or the Lord added to the assembly. Remember, mm -hmm. assembly mm -hmm. is an ecclesia. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Brother Gardner, you're giving these mm -hmm. folks too much information. Well, let, mm -hmm. me, let, me, let, me, let me do something else. <laughs> Look at that. Let's go back to Miles since Miles is your friend. 
<laughs> the Greek word is ekklesia. Ekklesia. Cold out. The church is the cold out one. Mm -hmm. Secular uses. Ekklesia refers to the gathering of competent citizens of a city. The prototype of the New Testament ecclesia. All right, let me get into a little bit more here. That's not really what I want. That's not really what I want. Watch this. Ecclesia, basically a Pauline term. Uh, let me see here. Paul never thinks of the church as a physical structure, but as a dedicated group of disciples. Of Christ. Of Christ. Mm -hmm. So the people in Acts 2 were a group of disciples that were being saved. All right. They were an assembly. They were an ecclesia. An ecclesia is another word used for church. I know we talk this call out business and all that stuff. I understand all that talk, but that's not, that doesn't really help the discussion. Ecclesia is really an assembly. It says a gathering. It says it's an assembly. This is why you have to study words. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Jesus promises to build his church. He instructs his followers to practice discipline in the church. Luke uses this word only in Acts. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. See this word ecclesia? You only find the word in Acts. But notice in Acts 2:47, the word ecclesia was added after the fact because the man thought it was the best word to describe the assembly of the saved. This is why you study the Bible word for word, detail, exegesis. If you don't study the Bible in detail, you can have flawed exegesis. Question or comments? We're taking so much information. <laughs> so brother Percy, not if they all not if they all confuse, I'm gonna blame it on you. <laughs> now, now, you gonna, no, brother no, Garden, you gonna make him start paying his dues again? <laughs> now, 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 make me now. Let me go back to my original statement that I was gonna say before you ask this question. This is a discussion for an academic setting. That's right. This is not a discussion for adult Bible class. Mm -hmm. Wednesday night Bible class. Mm -hmm. Sunday evening sermon. Let me show y'all what I discovered this week. No, you're not ready to. <laughs> <laughs> brother Person, brother Person, I, I'm on. I can't wait to get to church Sunday to tell folk what. <laughs> They would disfellowship you. I, I, I discovered something deep. Yep. I want to impress folk with how heavy I am. And you get up there talking about the King James Bible is corrupt. What? You're going to get <laughs> disfellowship. Disfellowship. <laughs> uh, 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 see, th th this see, that's why I keep remembering this one saying even a fool is thought wise when he keeps his mouth closed. That's this right. is. <laughs> this is why, this is why Lugo, Brother Lugo said this. Watch what Lugo mm. said. Mm. Do you remember what he said? Studying dangerous. the Bible Very. is dangerous. Mm. Dangerous. You yeah, just, because you just might learn Discover something. the truth. And sometimes, as, watch, I can't remember the movie, but uh, Nicholas, uh, I can't think of this guy's name, but he said something in a, t uh, a movie with, um, with Jack uh, and Tom Cruise? Jack, Jack, that is Jack Nicholson, Tom Cruise. He said in that 
that that that when 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 uh, Tom Cruise was pressing him, tell me the truth. <laughs> tell me the truth. And the man said, "You can't handle the truth." Oh uh, yeah, a few good <laughs> men. Mm. Mm. Few good that is. You know what? Sometimes church folk can't handle. It's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what folk can handle. Mm -hmm. You put a steak in a baby's mouth, you're going to choke the baby. Yes, sir. Some of our folk can only handle the milk. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Some of them can't even handle that anymore. What, 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 by the way, I'm trying to be nice. See, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm Brother Gardner's trying to be nice. But I'm telling you, this is not a milk question. Yes, sir. Right. Hmm. And some of you can't handle it. I'm looking at your eyes. Y'all looking at me crazy a little bit. <laughs> so, so that's why I said, Brother Percy, this is not a new converse class. No. I told you a year ago, this would be an academic class from this point on. Mm -hmm. This is what I mean by that. Now you know what I mean when I say this is academic. You, you see all these uh, questions. You see sometimes, you know, people just sit down in a class and ask nothing. They don't ask anything. And, but, yeah. but, but, and, it, and there's nothing wrong with your question. Exactly. There, there's, nothing, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with your question. But the question is, what do I do when you can't handle the answer that I give you? Right. You see? Now, that's see? why I got the information tonight. And I see? have it in my library so you know this is, this is why you matter of fact go back go back and listen to this presentation again mm -hmm. this is a good example of greek exegesis what explanation i gave you some heavy duty commentary that perhaps maybe confused you but the make the make long story short just get this Yes, right. Yeah. It yes. wasn't a it crept in. Here's my word. Yeah. It crept into the text. I put it next to my King James Version part. See, just write that. It crept into the text. But it wasn't in the original. That's right. It was a marginal note. Mm -hmm. Written. But it wasn't in the text. Yes. But brother Gardner, how did it get in the text? It's right here. It crept in. Mm. That's why you got Te Ecclesia in your King James Version. And even when you get to the most reliable King James Version, here's the one I got right here. Let me show it. Let me show it to you again. This is the actual King James Version, the authorized version. Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the Ecclesia. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Added to there's the ecclesia with the definite article right there, though, keeper. Look up here. Do you see that? It's right there. But wait a minute. That new American standard one that I told you about that's very literal to the Greek. Praising God, having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the Number. Number. Mm. Ta ta. Not Ecclesia. So what's a good Bible for me to use when I want to do the right thing and when I'm trying to be accurate? The one I recommended to you a year and a half ago. New American Standard Bible 1995. If you don't believe it, check the recordings a year and a half ago. Hello. I can't make this stuff up. All right, y'all look like y'all done had too much for the night. We're going to stop right there. <laughs> you know, I'm married. Yeah. But I got not, that, 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 uh, hey, the brother, book again, brother, New brother, American. Brother Christian, brother Christian, you see Brother, hey, uh, brother Gardner there looking way into our eyes. Yeah. <laughs> He's seeing stuff that ain't even there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, the, the, new, the new Bible, brother, brother God, 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 the name again, the, the, uh, the Bible, yeah, New yeah. American yeah. Standard. Here it is. Yeah, new American Standard. Here it is. Yeah, NESB. Here it is right here. Standard. 
Bible. Mm-hmm. Here it is right here. The same one I've been telling you about for uh, at least a year and a half. 1995. Mm-hmm. It's right here. Right here. Right here. Mm. Look what it says. Literal. Translation of the original Greek. Did you see yes. that? Yes. That's what it means. That's exactly what it means. If you really want to know what you want to know, word for word, study. Here it is, right here. See? So, Brother Gardner, are you telling me to throw away my King James Version? I already dealt with that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. yes. Don't let him get. Don't let him bully you, brother. Person. I already, <laughs> I already <laughs> dealt with that. I, I know. You know. I brother, when you when, when you get to your church on Sunday, you better have. My, my, watch this. My King James version. I got two of them up here. Yeah. So you can't throw it away. The one I got one. Uh-huh. The first Bible I had. This, this Bible is fifty years old right here. Mm. King wow. James version. This is my first Bible. <laughs> 50 years old. This this book right here. Mm. This one is another one I take to the pulpit. The King James Version. This is another one. I got three of them. Actually, four. Here's another one. Four King James Version. I got my Greek text right there. Next to them. Hello. Mm. I got my ESV in the middle. Who says you can only have one translation? That's right. If you want to use the King James Version by yourself and keep it forever, that's your business. But don't be talking about what is this the the, the add to the church business. Just be aware it comes with some things. Actually, right now I'm using all mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. versions to get it. I, 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 I cannot overstate. Read. Listen, let me say it this way. Read as many reliable translations as you can get your hands on. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm doing Listen now. Listen to what I said. Read as many reliable translations as you can get your hands on. Including your King James Version. Uh, and all the church said, Amen. 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 So, brothers, this is a class for men that are serious about Bible study. This is not for those that are faint of heart and that get tired and don't want and don't and don't want to spend the time. If you're going to study this word at this level, you have got to be prepared to put some time in. You can't do the kind of stuff we did tonight and you only got an hour or two a week. This is not that. This is serious Bible study. Right. On that note, I will stop right there. Keep in mind next week. Um, you're not coming here. You're going here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you going to do this week, Brother Gardner? Here's your homework. Exegete 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 34. And then on the 24th, is that right? Yeah, 24th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We will discuss the presentation. See? That I gave in the North Little Rock uh, congregation. That's what we're going to discuss. So in, other, in other words, you're highly suggesting that we take good notes. You're talking right. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I tell you what. If you don't, if you don't, if, if you have never dealt with this scripture right here, you better deal with it because you're gonna have to in your church. I I I, I got that once, and uh, <clears throat> what I used to think it was before, um, I got you better, another about it. You, be, you better you better deal with this because it's gonna deal with you eventually. Mm. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you better deal with this one because it's gonna deal with you eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody going to come up, Brother Percy, what is this here? <laughs> you, you mean to tell me we can't say nothing in the church? Hmm. And some of our brothers mean, that means the sisters can't say nothing. That's right. But you come next week. 
and no, find no. out what 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 Brother Gardner say. But do your own study first of all. Yeah, yeah. I just thought I'd drop that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, you've done outstanding scholarly work today. I was very impressed with how you handled these two word assignments. Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed that I'm going to take this right here. This good tool. <laughs> this good tool right here, Brother Percy. Uh-huh. My, my fact, let me do something. I'm just curious. I'm just curious since we're on Amazon. Brother Doe Keeper, let me just do something on Amazon. Since I'm on Amazon, I'm just going to do something. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this right here. Since we're on the good Amazon, let's try something. Let me, my Zoom is really high. Let me, let me see. Okay. Now that's actually two. Okay, here we go. Lex Ham English Interlinear Bible. I'm just curious to see what they're selling this for. I'm just curious to see what they're selling this for. The one you have here, this one is the Greek only. It's not the um, Hebrew. It's the Greek only. I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Oh, maybe I should do this differently. I did it wrong, actually. Um, it's actually a Greek reverse. Uh, that's the Hebrew. That's... Well, actually, this is the closest one. Let me see here. Let me just try this again. Let's have reverse. The closest one they have to this one is right here. Uh, right here. This is the closest one. This is the closest one. Interlinear. Uh, Greek. Reverse. Interlinear. Mm -hmm. Now the now the, the let me see. Yeah. Here, here here's the one you have. Volume four. See here, see see this is a full volume set, but the one you have is the fourth volume. Mm -hmm. But but look at but look at the price. Seventy nine ninety five, but it's on sale for forty dollars. Do you see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So, brother Percy, that just saved you eighty dollars. Mm. Eighty dollars. Wow. Eighty dollars. Do you see what I'm talking about? Uh huh. And this is the Lex Ham. This is the Lex Ham. The the one here, the fourth edition. Excuse me, fourth volume. The volume four is the one that, that I'm going to email to every single last one of you in this class. So from now on, including next week, you use this and do your um do your first Corinthians 14 and all this other stuff or whatever whatever, whatever. You got to do your sermon on Sunday, you got to do your next homework assignment. You you wanna you wanna work on anything? Just boom, open it up right here. Every single word, Paulus. Look it so up. We have to download Adobe um, Reader. You said you have to um, if you expect to open this book. Mm -hmm. This is this is old school. I mean, this is simple school. Download PDF Reader. Oh PDF, I think I have that. Already. Okay, yeah. but 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 uncheck this. Microsoft, excuse me, this McAfee. Oh, that McAfee, it, yeah. See, they'll throw some stuff in there on you. Okay. Uncheck and that. Wait, they they throw a little bit of malware that creeps in there. That's what that is. Well, well they do a lot of stuff. But I'm just yeah. saying, uncheck that. This is why I recommend that you either use something like, because um, I know we like free in the church. That's why, that's why I've told you about the Adobe Free version. <laughs> I know we like I know we like free. Free is scriptural. Okay, so we like free stuff. All right, so but I'm gonna give you this free. And um 
if you like holding your book in your hand and reading the book, that's fine. What? If you want to save some time, you want to save some bookshelf space, you want to save some desktop space, yeah, use, true. use the PDF. Mm -hmm. Open up your mouse, open your strongs, take the, the, take the words. 1985. Let me let me look up 1985. Let's see. Get the deacon. Diakonos. Uh, uh, Plural. Diakonos. Akonois. Diakonois. You look that up. Put put just experiment with text that you haven't been assigned. Let's see what this is all about. This ecclesia business. Let me look some words up there. Experiment. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send you all that as soon as we're done here. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Well, let me before I before I see everybody's gonna have it. Let me just do it right now. Cause I don't <laughs> want to tell you something and and don't do it. Mm. I don't want y'all to talk about me. Okay, watch this. Uh, <laughs> Talk about you anyways, bro. <laughs> uh, 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 I, I, I know, I, I know, I know. Now let me ask this question, Percy. I'm not certain if I have your um I'm not sure if I have your uh situation or not. Do I have your do I have your email? Yeah, you send me a couple of stuff back then. I, I I do have it? Yeah, you should have it. Uh, yes. all right, okay. Now I know I have uh most of these other folk. Uh, let's see here. Let me see here. Uh, um, we're going to send it to Kayvon and all them. <laughs> now, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we got Christian and we got the dough keeper and we got Kayvon. What, what is your email there, person? Um, Percy underscore John. Special tools for exegesis. What's that? Percy underscore John. Let me see. It may pop up automatically. Yeah, there it mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. that, there you go. You got uh, Adobe Acrobat, right? Mm -hmm. PDF Reader. Now this will save you more time than you can imagine. This right here. Okay. All right. I just sent it out to you. Matter of fact, when you get this link, uh -huh. all you have to do is click on that link, mm -hmm. and that link will open up the book. All right. Mm -hmm. See. Now, it opened on my computer, so I know it's working. I just tested it. All right, that's all you have to do. Okay. And uh, you'll have you'll have what you need. Okay. And mm -hmm. and use that. You know, uh, try to try to use these tools and uh, understand that everybody needs some help along the way. And uh, tools are uh, tools have a purpose, but you still have to get in there and get your hands dirty. So don't. Don't think your books, your, your regular books on the shelf don't have value. Mm. But this is just one tool to help you to, you know. Yeah, I see it just come in there. I see it. In there. Okay. So so you should all have it by now. Yeah, I have it there right now. Yeah, yeah. You can you can you can start working on your homework right now. Mm -hmm. You can jump right in there. You can start doing your homework. You can start working on your sermon. Uh, Brother Christian, if you hadn't got your yeah. sermon together, use this yeah. to work on your sermon for Sunday. Right. Okay. Right. I just passed two of them two Sundays there. And and I and I don't I don't I don't I don't mind uh, you sharing this with other people. This mm -hmm. is not, but at the same time, everybody is not at this level, so there's no need to give it to somebody that's barely even reading their regular English Bible. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Only a specific person is going to be able to know what to do, even with this thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Some some you just look how many weeks it took you to be able to deal with it. Yes, sir. And still just getting used to dealing with it. 
Mm. Okay, so you're going to give it to Sister May May and Pookie and Ray Ray them. They don't know what the world you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sister May May don't know nothing about that. She just wants the King James Version. So give her what she wants. Right? Yeah. <laughs> give me She's, that. The Lord, the Lord added to the church is what Sister May May say, and we all gonna say Amen. We're not even gonna get into all that scrabble stuff. No, sir. She yeah. said it's added to the church. That's what I'm gonna say, right? Yes, sir. But I do know the difference. Okay, folk. Brother Percy, did that uh, answer your good question, brother? Yes, sir. Uh, fully. Um. No. Now. Uh, let's let's have a good closing prayer here. Um, let's see, brother Doe Keeper, why don't you pray for us and pray for the people in Israel tonight? I mean, oh, that yeah. thing over there is getting off the hook, brother yeah, Christian. It's, it's it out of hand, Bro brother Christian. We might have to send you over there and straighten that thing oh, out. The, the, the guys have started moving over there. You know, so it you is know, it is off the hook, y'all. What's going on? Another. And if push gets to shove, uh, shove Brother Christian, you can bring Brother Doe Keeper with you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Something is going on in Israel right now? Oh, my brother, you don't know what oh, is what happening a, in the world. What a, what a, what a world. What, uh, you mean to tell me St. Lucy don't know what time it is? <laughs> you, 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 you better be watchful uh, uh, before, uh, a bomb, before a bomb you know, uh, gets to your place. I'm so you better get on your knees and pray. <laughs> I'm so caught up in Bible study right now. I had two sermons back to back. So I'm my brother, don't worry. It started last Saturday. Well, they fighting, they killing the, the Jews. They so, killed over one thousand Jews. They murdered, massacred yeah. them. Yeah. Matter yeah. of fact, yeah. I, I, I wish I didn't know this news person. So you probably mm. good. You probably better off than all of us. Um, I don't. I don't need to look at this crazy stuff. Cut babies' heads off. Come on. Now. I know. I Come know. On. I what, know. What, what? Barbaric. How, you know, barbaric. How barbaric. Demonic. They are literally burning people to death and cutting mm, babies' and heads the, off. The, the sad aspect of the whole thing is Hamas did this, right? And they fled what? because they are not going to stay at the places where the Israelis are that, that bombing. Is you see what I mean? So innocent Palestinians mm -hmm. are being murdered. It is murdered. It is. It is time for us to pray for those uh people over there and um the devil is busy y'all ah ah the devil I, I think is he just busy said something. the devil is showing up busy and whenever you can cut a baby's head off and it don't bother you you have got to be demonic you are demonic wow there there ain't no other explanation there there's no mental illness problem you're mm. just demonic they have that, no, no four-letter word no for that, Brother Gardner. It's no sin four problem. Four-letter word. You are demonic. No, it's a four-letter word. Pure evil. Mm. Okay, say that one too. All right. So, so make a yep. long story short. We got to pray for these people. Yes. Even these demonic people. We're gonna pray mm. for them. Mm. We're gonna pray for our brothers over there. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you do have members of the church that, that live over there. Just so you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Uh, we're gonna pray for them. Yeah, we, we got church folk all over the world. Mm. Amen. So, uh, brother, brother Doe Keeper, mm -hmm. can you close us out and keep in mind these things that we're talking about tonight? Thank Amen, you, sir. Brothers. Thank you. Let's bow. Father, we thank you for another night, another chance to come together and study your word, Father. We thank you for all that we've discussed and all that we've learned. And we thank you for the teacher that you put on this platform to give us all of this information. We pray that you keep it in his heart, Father, to continue to do that good work that you've given him to do and keep him and his wife healthy and all of the brothers here on this platform and their families. Keep them all healthy, Father, so that they can continue to do the good work that you give them to do and so they can go out into the world and spread the good news around. We hope that the good word is spread back across Egypt and Palestine and on the West Bank and all of those places, the Gaza Strip, where everything is coming together, Father, and falling apart. Hmm. We have children being killed for no reason, Father. 
and mm. we know that that's not part of your plan. Our enemy is trying to make a mockery of all that you give us. Father, we ask you to step in and guide them, Father. Even those who are under the influence of the enemy, we pray for them. Because it's not them that's doing this evil, Father. It's the enemy himself, the devil, Satanus. Mm -hmm. He is the one who's directing all this evil. And he is trying to destroy the world that you created. And all of your children are along with it. We ask you to please watch over and try to quell all of these uprisings, these skirmishes and fightings, these battles, these military excursions, not only in Israel, but over in the Ukraine and Russia, in North Korea, and over in China and Taiwan, Father, and even over in Japan. And with all of those that are in harm's way, Father, we ask you to put your shield of protection around the innocent ones, especially for the children of the world. All of our brothers and sisters in the church of Christ around the world, Father, we pray for them too, their families, their congregations, and their communities, that you keep them safe from hurt, harm, and danger. And if the danger comes their way, Father, <clears throat> help them to be able to do what they need to do to overcome it or move away from it. Because we know that you always do love your children and you take care of those that always do their due diligence to seek you out every single day of their lives. We know that your children are precious to you, Father, because you told us in your word that they are. And we pray for them, not only for them, Father, but all of their families, all of their congregations, all their communities, all of their friends, their relatives, Every one that they come in contact with, we pray for each and every one that they be received, Father, if they are escaping, to be received with open and loving arms. We ask and pray for all of these gifts and blessings, Father, that you be with all of these people, <clears throat> adults, children, and all, and be with us as we leave this platform tonight, Father, but never your presence, and help us to always keep in mind the word that leads our lives and keeps us on the straight and narrow path. We thank you, Father, and we ask and we thank you most of all for sending Jesus to save us. We thank you for all that you do for us every day, Father, and ask that you bless us continually so that we can pass the blessings on to others. We ask for all of these gifts and blessings and things in the name of your son, Jesus, who is our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Reconciler, and the author and finisher of our faith. It is in Jesus' name that we offer this prayer, Father. Let all the prayer warriors of the Lord say amen and amen. Amen. amen.